Hey, hey everyone, J3B here. Do you ever metal detect or magnet fish and find railroad spikes? Do they usually come under the ground or the water looking like this? Well today, I'm going to show you how you can clean them up and repurpose them and make something cool. So pretty much for this tutorial, you need some white vinegar and a bit of thyme. So I have a bunch of railroad spikes here that I got magnet fishing and they're in pretty beat up shape. Some of them ha even have zebra mussels on them. Pretty gross looking. But, I have myself a bucket, I'm going to put them in, fill it with some white vinegar, and let it sit for a couple days. Now you want to find somewhere like a basement or a garage to let it sit for a couple days. Let's check back in 24 hours. And this is it after the first 24 hours. Well, it's been a couple more days and I ended up having to change the bucket just for the main fact I needed that orange one. But that's what the water looks like. So now we're going to clean them. So for this part here, you're going to need to get yourself a little scrub brush. They're not perfect, but they are definitely a lot better. This one here, if you guys can see the lines, that is old, old iron. This is probably one of the original spikes from the 1800s. That's why it's uh, just the basic design at the top, because that was hand blacksmith by a person versus these ones that were made by machines. So that one, that's as clean as it's going to get. Like you can see the lines, that's got some age to it, 1800s for sure. Well guys, with a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of time, we were able to clean our railroad spikes to look like this. Anyways guys, I want to thank you for sticking around and watching this tutorial on how to remove rust from railroad spikes. As always, if you died today and don't know if you'd go to heaven, up in one of these corners is going to be a link for you to click so you can find out and know for sure. Take care everyone, and God bless.